Welcome back to the channel, and today Yuzi and I are going to be trying to build missile defense systems. So uh, we're going to be hopping in whatever plane we want with a missile or rocket launcher attached to it, firing a rocket at the opponent, and they have to try to stop the missile from hitting their stationary creation. And uh, the only real restriction is uh, the whatever stops the missile has to just be distinct from your actual base creation. So that basically means like you can't just put up a wall that the missile hits instead of your creation. You actually got to like have something separate that's not just a barrier. But so however you do that is uh, however you think to do that. Just no energy shields allowed because that's kind of cheating as well. Pretty much the same concept and no block limits or anything like that. It's going to be whoever can stop the most missiles with their creation is going to win. Sound good, Yuzi? Sounds good to me, Scrap. All right, let's get building. Okay, so um, we're not. This is not about shielding against damage. Like, if your base vehicle gets damaged, you lose. So this is really just about stopping the missile before it gets to your ground target. Now, the best way that I can think of for this is to probably either distract the missile, like flare style, which is going to be hard because you have to anticipate before they shoot, you have to have those distractions out there so the missile locks onto the wrong target, or just stop the missile before it gets to you by giving it a bunch of just obstacles in the air to get through, which I think is kind of more the realistic way of going about it. Uh, I think that's pretty much how anti-missile systems work is they pretty much spray a whole bunch of bullets or something at the missile. I don't actually know, but from, from what I've seen, it seems like that's the strategy is just spray it with a bunch of stuff and hope that it explodes the missile before it gets to the ground. Uh, so that's the strategy I'm going to go with. It's just how am I going to do it? I'm probably going to use pistons. Pistons with detachable blocks that all shoot out blocks in sequence. But I need to be able to make sure I can aim this thing because Yuzi could come in from any direction. He could fire the missile from any angle. So I got to be able to make sure I aim where the missile is coming because... I don't want to build a whole sphere. That's going to be like too much. Okay, so here's my strategy. I am going to build... This is basically a giant turret. I need to attach a seat to this thing so I can actually use it. All right, so I should be able to turn and aim up and down. Perfect. All right, I'm hoping I'm giving myself enough blocks to work with here because uh, these pistons are going to be... It's going to add up to a lot, but here is the plan. So I'm hoping I might need to double stack the pistons. I don't know if I can get enough out of a single piston. If I have the speed on negative 100, start position on zero, and then let's just say space and then auto reset, I think is, oh no, that's not how it's supposed to work, but there we go. That's not very fast. That's the maximum speed though. Well, let's see how far that can launch something. So if we take a detachable block and then I'm thinking just like the square blocks, maybe i think the square blocks are going to be best because they are equilateral on all sides so if it rotates in the air it's not going to like get bigger or smaller like these if i sent a shield out and then it rotated sideways it's going to be way easier for it to miss the the rocket all right so now if i have this delayed by 0 0.02 on the same button so now we should go let me aim up and then pew that's not too bad. Let's copy and paste this and see what a double piston uh, feels like in comparison. All right, so here they are side by side. Pew! Okay. It is, well, actually that's weird. It looks like a really big difference. I don't know if I want them to go far, to be honest. If they're slower with aerodynamics, they're also slower to fall potentially. So that might be good but I think the double pistons is actually going to be worth it. Now, I don't want them to all go out at the same time necessarily. It could be fine, but I think it's going to be so much cooler if they kind of just all shoot out one after another, just like pew, 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 pew. That could be really cool. So I'm going to try to figure out how to program that. And I think that's going to be with logic. All right, so if I have this logic gate will control all of these. If I copy and paste that logic gate, does it... It also copy and paste the control. Dang it. All right, so I don't, I don't want to copy and paste the logic gates then. And this logic gate will be delayed by point, uh, zero 0.05. I don't know if that's uh, too little or too late. Okay, ready, go. Oh yeah, that's good. The timing, I like that. All right, so now this actually becomes not too hard. I think what I need to do is... Because I can't... If I copy and paste a logic gate that is programmed, it's going to copy and paste the logic still attached to the previous thing so i think i need to copy and paste all of this uh without logic and then 
do all the logic afterwards. Structure is too complex. Okay, 652. So it looks like this is as many as I can do of this. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that 48? Is 48 gonna be enough? All right, oh, this is actually really kind of complicated because of all the interference with everything else. All right, this is actually a little bit more time consuming than I was hoping it was going to be. So that controls, oh no, this is controlling all of these accidentally. This logic gate is gonna control this logic gate, which is gonna control this logic gate, which is gonna control. All right, so now I have programmed, I think I have to test this out. Uh, they should track all the way through. Okay, good. The fact that it goes to the last logic gate means that I have successfully programmed this. Now, I need the logic gates themselves to be programmed to each uh, corresponding piston sequence. So this, and I gotta not mess up any of the routing. So I think this angle is pretty good. Yeah, like this. I'm realizing what's really cool about this system is I can change the fire timing, the sequential like delay between each one instantly because I can select all logic gates and change just that value. All right, I think they're all programmed up. Let's see if this works as intended. Ready, go. I am suddenly not so confident. Oh, my 697? I'm not so confident anymore that that's gonna be able to stop a thing, a rocket. All right, let's uh, let's lower, I wanna put a delay of 0 0.02. All right, now let's see. So that has to stop a rocket. I'm creating a lot of debris. Okay, so the only thing I think that can really improve this noticeably is I'll put a tiny cannon Wait, do I need these? Oh, I don't. I can delete this whole row here. 685. That wasn't really as much as I thought it was going to be. But what I would like to do now is give myself a way to zero in. So I need to know where I'm aiming. And I have one on each corner. What that should do is allow me to triangulate my aim. Oh, whoops. Oh, I don't, I don't actually want them to shoot. My bad. I'll delete the input so they don't actually shoot. They are just there for my aiming so I can see where I'm facing. So now... I know, wait, no, that can't happen. That can't happen, that'll make me lose. All right, that was smooth. Why was it being weird there for a second? Wait, why is that happening? All right, I really gotta hope I don't uh, mess myself up. I feel like this will be a learning process. Like I'll have to figure out where I need to fire in order to intercept the rocket. Do I need to fire high? Wait, why did that happen? I wasn't even moving. It's probably the, like the wobbliness of it, but I don't know how to like prevent the wobbliness. Wait, it, it broke after. It broke after I fired. I'm gonna simplify the base down to a single block that is attached to the ground. That's so cool. Oh, that looks so cool. I love the way that looks. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna save what I got right now. Let me reduce the complexity down. By, uh, I'm gonna go down to the single piston version, see if it feels any different. I think this, this should keep all of the programming. What just happened there? Gonna simplify this down so that there's just much more solid connection onto this thing. And then maybe also add some uh, distance between the anchor block and that. All right, so I mean like, this is the one piston version and honestly, it seems a little bit more stable. And what I like about this, oh, the wobbly is still there. Oh, see, like, why am I at that angle? Maybe, maybe I need weight blocks down here. Uh, so there, I like having this arch because what it essentially does is it has two zones of potential contact. Oh, dang it. So it could hit like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, I didn't let it go all the way through. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it broke. All right, I'm just dealing with some consistency issues and it might just be one of those things where I'll have to feel it out. See how this vibration I have right now? I think I'm just gonna have to not have the round start until I get a good spawn. Yeah, where there's not a vibration like this. Cause now if I move all the way around while I'm firing, you can see I did not break. And that actually looks kind of cool, spreading them all out like that. All right, I extended it by a single row. So it's a little bit more square. Oh, how did that happen? These got misaligned, that's weird. All right, there we go, that's much better. I've also uh, slimmed my profile a little bit, my vertical profile, but let's make sure everything works. 
All right, that looks like it works. We get a little bit more time of stuff going out in the air. So hopefully that will stop a rocket. All right, now I'm gonna paint up and we'll see what Yuzi came up with. All right, are we done building? Yeah. Build an anti-rocket system. It's suddenly interesting, dude. I really want to show you. It's very goofy. All right. Well, let's see it. You go first. <laughs> okay, so I, did, I wasn't sure what to do initially. And in my head, I was like, okay, I need stuff to scatter across the screen and mm -hmm. kind of block your aim assist. So what I did is uh, I made an army of drones. <laughs> oh, boy. This will be interesting. So, so I just got to damage this thing right here. Yeah, so this is my uh, this is my base. So I All established right. that there with the little flag. But brace your ears, because this is going to get pretty loud. Oh, boy. Oh, that is epic. <laughs> so they all have, like, different altitudes. Interesting. And, uh, that is so cool. Sc scatter around. Hopefully that's enough to really mess your aim assist up. And then with the, the pad at the bottom, I can just make it into scrap. So it's not a wow. massive target. So, yeah, that's that's my plan. <laughs> That actually, that might work. That, that might actually work. Let's scramble the screen with a bunch of drones. That is crazy. That is awesome, though. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. Well, I went with a much more uh, active approach. Okay. Pretty much anything that's gray is me. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so if you, if you damage any of the gray stuff, then you've successfully gotten past my defense system. But, so I have to manually aim to where you are coming from. And then when you fire your rockets, I am going to fire some of these and try to intercept oh, your rocket. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's smart. Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Here, I'm going to shower on your, your drones over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed. I missed every single one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. So they don't go very far, but they just need to create a just a uh, aerial net to catch your rocket, I hope. This is two very different ways of going about this challenge. It is. It is. All right. Uh, well, since you showed yours first, do you want to be the first to defend? Yeah, why not? So I think if there is any visible damage, including like just like the glowing on the on your base, then that counts as uh, an unsuccessful defense. You have to be spotless. OK, no damage, not a scratch. Yeah, from the rocket. If like, if you accidentally damage yourself or something, and you, you just honor system on that. But um, right, okay. yeah, one of your drones gets shot out of the sky, and I don't know if I don't know if that would count if it lands on you or something. <laughs> All right, I am in oh. the air. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm deploying the drones. Here we go. All right, I am on the approach. I don't know how I'm supposed to actually oh, come hit on, you. Drones, launch, launch, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. it's locking up. Oh, no. Uh, yo, yes, it, it works. It works. No like, I have, there's like no chance for me to lock on you. Okay, All right, well, that's one point. I have failed to hit you with one rocket, so you get a point. All right. Um, should I just keep going? Yeah, keep going. Let's see how many All points right. I can rack up. Uh, come on. Ooh, Ooh, that was close. All right, I'm sensing a little bit of how this could, I could potentially get through. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. This is going to be hard. That's two points. Oh, there's drones crashing into each other now. That's not good. Oh, that is not good, is it? <laughs> I oh. have no idea. Oh, dang. That Ooh, is three points. It's work. so unpredictable on where I'm going to lock in. They're actually scrambling your aim assist. They are. I don't know. I think you I think you picked a very powerful system here. Come on. Oh, all right. Hold oh. on. I'm, I'm going way too slow. I need to. I need to actually like <laughs> approach realistically here. There's also the risk of flying into a drone. <laughs> yeah, that was three shots, right, so far. Oh yeah, that's three. Yeah, all right. three. yeah. You're three for three. Oh no, I'm losing drones though. Scrap. They're all crashing into each other. All right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. We're safe. We're good. That's four points. Four points. Yeah. See, mine actually requires reloading though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, don't lock on that one. No. Uh, see, I need, I need to, uh, that's five points. Should we go up to 10? Cause this is pretty quick. Yeah. Well, ma we'll max out at 10. Let's see All how right. many points I can get. All right. I'm going to go for a dive bomb approach now. Will that work? I There's don't a know. a lot of drones above me. Oh, I aimed to one of the side ones for some reason. That's six points. 
You might have a flawless run here. Probably might have. I didn't think this would be so effective. I uh, know. This is really good. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I unlocked as soon as I shot. <laughs> that is seven points. Like, I'm Wait, trying to get to it to lock on a drone that, like, is between me and you. So it'll miss the drone and hit you. But it's really, like, it just keeps, like, randomly locking all over the place. You've definitely scrambled my uh, missile system here. Uh, lock on something else. Dang it. Oh, Ooh, you hit a drone. I did. <laughs> All right, that was eight. Two more shots That's left. Eight. Come on, dang it. Wow, yes. I don't even know how it's deciding which ones to lock on. All it's right, just one a mess more. Of drones. One more left. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. dang. Ooh, that was Flawless. close. Absolutely. Flawless victory. You just got to cause damage to me once and you win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Wow. That is crazy how effective that was. Oh. My little drone army. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I definitely gave myself a hard job here having to actually hit your missile. All right, but let's see how many out of 10 I can defend against. I think it's going to be hard not to get hit for me. All right. I have my plane. All right. It's on. And one rocket. Oh, boy. I have no idea how I'm even going to stop a rocket now after seeing what you've done. Are you ready? I guess so. Let's do it. First, first okay. shot. So all I gotta do is hit the gray on you. The yep. gray pieces. I feel like all you're right. gonna. I'm gonna fail on the first one. <laughs> I just gonna. I wanna see if I can even block a rocket. Okay, here I go. Right, he's coming. Fire! Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, I oh. fired way too. Low. Oh, did you fly into me? Too? I. I don't know what happened. I. I was so quick. <laughs> yeah, your rocket definitely hit my base. I fired way too late. All right. Okay. All right. So that is zero for one. <laughs> we'll try that again. I feel. I feel like we uh give this a proper test. Oh, uh, was that a practice round? You're gonna give me yeah, the benefit of the doubt I'll give on you that one. Practice. All right. All right. I'll all right. Fine. I'll take it. I'll. I'll take anything I can get right now. <laughs> yeah, you're coming in really low. I was a little bit confused yeah, about that. It's... That's a me issue there. There we go. Okay, here we go. Get that lock. Fire. Ooh, there was a miss. Ooh, okay. All right. One for one, one if we don't include the practice round. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, hold on. I got to I got to backspace so I get rid of all my debris. All right. Let's see if you can get two in. points. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. That was close. All right, backspacing. All right, there's two points. Yeah, I think I actually have to like pre-fire you and create kind of like create a distraction before you fire instead of just trying to shoot your missile. All right, coming in again. Oh, I broke. Oh. <laughs> no, that one hit me. Yes, yeah, I broke and then it like messed up my logic system. All right, so oh, that was really that was three zero or one two points oh, out two, of three two rounds. Points. Two points yeah. out of three rounds. Two out of three. Well, I guess we keep going to ten and yep. see how many you can defend. Yep. Oh, that was a direct Whoa. hit. I fired too late. All right. Yeah, it's got to was... be perfect timing, I yeah. think. Yeah, two for four. I am very not proud of my system anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, though. It is. I do want to see one where I actually hit your rocket before it hits me. Now that I've already lost, I, I should just try for that more. Oh, nope, that oh. did not do it. All right, two okay. for five. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get direct hits on your rocket now. I'm going to feel like that'd be more fun. All right, here he comes. Oh. Ooh, okay. Ooh, yeah, you okay. damaged me there. Not... Two for six. It's... That was weird. It like, went from my the corner. Aim, yeah. Yeah, I threw off my aim. All right, here he comes. I'm going to try a different strategy here. Ooh, oh, that Ooh, was like, oh, that worked. was the did big it... oh. one. No, that hit me. That went right it through went everything through? and hit me. Oh. Yep. No way. I was, what, two for seven now? It looked like it. I started off like... good, and then all of a sudden I can't succeed anymore. Here he comes. Oh! oh. Uh, well, okay, Wait, well, what? I, I blew up myself for some okay, reason. I, I don't, don't think know that what counts. That's a, <laughs> that doesn't count. Ah, uh, take that. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's coming in. Oh. Ooh, right, well, it, it caused you to miss, them. but it, I'm, I still haven't, like, hit your rocket. Which I'm like, that, that was the whole point of my thing was to actually hit your <laughs> rocket. It's uh, three out of eight now. There we go. Well, as long as it doesn't hit you, you get a point. Yep. Ah, oh, that one went. Oh, that was weird. I damaged Did myself. I uh, yeah, I damaged myself and created a hole and the rocket went through the hole. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even know what to count that as. I'm still saying like three out of nine. I don't even think that counts. <laughs> you would have hit me if it wasn't for me uh, damaging myself. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, no. Oh. Man, that's weird. It's hard to read the direction of your rocket. All right, mm. was that number 10? I think so. All right, give me one more. One more. I'm just going to... One more. Yeah, I really want to just hit this rocket. If I don't get it this time, then my creation was just a complete and utter failure. <laughs> I mean, it already is, but I want it to at least do its purpose once. Here we go. <gasps> oh, it did it! It yes! worked! <laughs> yes! It actually worked! Good that job! That was perfect! Oh, thank goodness for that one more. <laughs> All right. I don't feel quite as bad now because it at least did its job once. It did the job. <laughs> yes. And you that, had was, pretty, one that job. was like so epic though when it actually worked the way it was intended to work. All right. Well, you clearly made the superior design this time. Yeah, on function too. That's, uh, that's new for me. <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the drone swarm is uh, apparently the way to go. All right. Well, people should definitely leave some suggestions for future multiplayer challenges down in the comments below. Definitely go check out Yuzi's channel. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.